So now let's take a look at the same thing in an OO style. Okay, I'm going to have an interface called shape. The shape is right, interface has a, a method called weight, which turns a number, it returns the weight of this shape. So we have weight, the interface consists of weight and add to scene. Right, here's my circle. A circle is going to be, it's going to implement shape. It's going to have four init fields corresponding to the four fields of a circle. It's, there's going to be an image field, which is computed from the init fields, in this case R and C. Now, okay, so how do we do this? Define public weight. Weight is going to be pi r squared. How do we do add to scene? Right? How do we how do we compute the property the proper scene? Well, we place the image on, at at place the image at the location on the scene. We place this image on at this location on the given scene. What's our strategy? Oh, it's domain knowledge. Pi r squared, that's domain knowledge. What could be more domain knowledge than that? Let's try square. Exactly the same story. We're going to have square. It's going to implement shape. It's going to have init fields corresponding to the four fields that we had in our struct. Right? We'll have the image, which is a lo another local field. And I, know I, I knew I was going to have to do this, which is why I had those locals in the uh, functional version. Okay, how do we do weight? L squared. Can't get more domain knowledge than that. How do we do add to scene? Well, we place the image on the scene. We place this image at the location of this object on the given scene. Right, when I, I always say this, this image and this position because when I'm talking about the properties, the fields of this object, and I say the given scene when I'm talking about an argument. Okay, now we get to something interesting. Here's comp composite. A composite is a new comp composite front shape, back shape. It's the composite of front and back. We have our class, which implements shape. We have our init fields, front and back, which are the same as the fields we had in our struct. We have our required magic super new. All we know here is that front and back implement shape. We don't know whether they are circles or squares or other composites. So how do we define the weight of a composite object? Well, it is the plus of the weight of the front and the weight of the back. So how do I find the weight of the front? Well, I say send front weight. Say, right, or front dot weight, if you, right, if you, if you speak, you know, those kinds of OO languages. Right, we send the weight message to the front to the front object. The front object is known to be a shape, therefore that's a safe and good thing to do. It returns the weight of the front object. And similarly, I send weight to the back object. That returns me the weight of the back object, and now I add them up. So this is, this is just exactly the OO version of the code that I had over here. Here I was doing structural decomposition on the shape. I was calling, I was recursively calling the function weight on the pieces of my structure. So here I am doing exactly the same thing. Okay, here I am doing exactly the same thing. So I say for my strategy, I say this is structural decomposition. Structural decomposition on what? Structural decomposition on this. Because I'm recursively calling weight on the fields of this object. Similarly, what do I do for add to scene? 
I say, given the scene, I'm going to invoke add to scene on the back of this object. That's going to give me a new scene. And then I will have front paint itself on the resulting scene. Again, it's exactly the same code, just written slightly differently. Right, there it is in the functional version. And there it is in the OO version. Yeah, by golly, this works. Right, so here's our tests. I create a new circle, I create a new square, I create a composite, and now I'm going to check to check the weight of each of the three objects and make sure that they are uh, what we expected. And by golly, they are. 